it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Alrighty. This is just a quick update um, about the SJ Pour Challenge for the New Zealand brewers that have registered. Um, we've got about five days before registrations close, and at the moment we've got 34 brewers. That's heaps. That's phenomenal. That's you know per capita. Wow, we've got the most, the highest percentage of brewers participating, um, which is just blow me away. Uh, I thought we could get 20, um, and we'd probably cap it off at 20, but 34. Whew. So that's left us in a little bit of a dilemma, really. Sort of left us in the same kind of dilemma that the US has, and the same kind of dilemma that uh, Harry Brew 69 as the hub of the UK has. And that's, there's a lot of beers to drink. That's not really a dilemma, because we can knock them back pretty fast. But we only have four weeks to do our tastings. And in all due respect, the competitions that I've run before, there's always been 10% of the people, or you know, 10% of the votes that have come in late and they've held up everything um, purely because there were just too many beers to drink in the short amount of time. So to try and streamline this we need to we need to pull back the number of beers that we're going to be drinking, the number of beers that we're going to be rating so that we can we can rate them fairly. Um, if you sit down for an evening and you bang eight beers and rate them all, that eighth beer is going to taste wonderful. It's going to be totally different from if you had a try it as the first one. So to even it out and to make it fair, we are going to reduce down the number of beers that you get to rate. Now in the US they're doing semi-finals. They have four hubs that are all doing semi-finals and the top three from those four hubs will join together and they'll do a finals and the top three from that will go on to the world finals. That works. It's a lot of logistics but it works. In the UK they're doing a similar thing, they've got 40 brewers involved, um, so it's going to be split into two groups of 20, and it's going to be a random split, um, random groups split up, and they do semi-finals and finals and same thing, move on. So we need to split as well. Now the logical split is North Island and South Island, but it doesn't work because of numbers. 70% of the brewers are in the North Island, and plus there's some great brewers in the North Island, some great brewers in the South Island, and we want to swap our beers between each other. Um, I'm looking forward to some of the brewers down in South Island and trying some of their beers, and, and likewise, same way around. So that doesn't really work. We could do a random split, uh, like what they did in the UK. Randomly pull people's names out of a hat, Team A, Team B, Team A, Team B, Team A, Team B, semi-finals, finals. Problem with that is, we're right at the end of the challenge. Um, so it's going to be very hard for us to do our semi-finals and then get them to do our finals and also have the amount of time free um, to brew your, uh, to rebrew your beers if you're doing a fresh IPA or something like that for the internationals if you win. So it's, it's doable but it's tight. Um, it's too tight. Too tight for me. So I've run these options past um, some of the other people that are involved in the challenge and we sort of come up, we've come up with a solution. And the solution is we're just going to do a final. We're not going to do semi-finals, but the final is only going to have 20 beers in it. So everybody ships 20 beers, and they get 20 beers back. Um, that means every single beer gets voted on 20 times, which is a good spectrum of pallets to get a, an average score. Um, and the way that we're going to distribute the beers is totally random. So there'll be no... Oh, I got um, that person's beer, and you got that person's beer. Um, I'm in that team, and I only got those ones. It'll just be random beers put in the box, um, which means it's a lucky dip. You find out, you get them. Uh, the only thing that we will do is that we'll make sure that your own beer is in your box that you take back. So you do have 20 different beers to rate, um, because of course you can't really rate your own beer. Uh, well, you can, but it would just be wiped out. So. That's what we're going to do. It also makes it easier on volumes. We got 34 people. That's 34 beers that you would have needed. And then, if you're in the top three, you'd need an extra 17. So, um, three for every other country in the world. So, three times five other countries, 15, plus two for the other two brewers in New Zealand to taste in the worldwide finals. So, that is uh, 34 and 17, 51 bottles of beer. 
If you're doing 500 ml bottles of beer, that's over 25 litres. That's a lot of beer to brew. And some people don't brew 25 litres. So those people would be at a slight disadvantage, or they'd have to rebrew, or they might have two different recipes. I don't know. To make it easier, cutting it down to 20 um, is a much more manageable size for a single batch. Um, you can do 500 or you can do 330 ml bottles. So, what we'll do, you send 20 beers to the hub, and those 20 beers, we we'll have some details about where you're going to be sending them to later on. This is more about the amount of beers that you need to have. So, you need to have 20 beers um, to go into the finals for New Zealand. You then, I also, <coughs> I'm then also asking for three additional beers to be sent with those 20 beers. Now those three additional beers account for breakages. If there's a broken bottle that comes up in your shipment, then we've got that spare bottle to replace it with without having to contact, and contact you and say, send us up another bottle. But the other thing I want to do with those three beers, because hopefully there'll be no breakages, is have a sponsors evening for our gold sponsors. New Zealand, we have Panhead, we have um, Mangrove Jacks, we have Hashigo Saki, uh, we have Spring and Fern, we have Paul Finney's, five gold sponsors have contributed this year in New Zealand. So, to celebrate that, I want them to have a tasting. So, Mike from Panhead, he's got a great palate, he's going to be able to taste some faults and taste some good beers. Sprig and Fern, Tracy hopefully is going to come up from Nelson, along with Michael from Sprig and Fern and Jackson Street, and taste those beers, and once again, another good palate. Mangrove Jacks, Andrew Childs, Behemoth Brewing. He's the guy that signed us up at Mangrove Jacks before he moved on, so he'll be coming down. He's got a great palate. Dominic, Ryan, from Hashigo Saki and Beers Without Borders. More great palates. So, by sending us three extra beers, we can put on a gold sponsors evening that they all get a chance to taste all 34 of the beers that we have. Um, as a thank you for you know, sponsoring and making this thing worthwhile. Also, if one of your bottles does break, we do have that spare backup. So, then if you win, you've got to send me another 17 bottles of beer. And we can ship them off internationally. So that means, in total, you only need 40 bottles of beer. So if you're doing 500ml bottles, that's a 20 litre batch. If you're doing 330ml bottles, that's a 16 litre batch, or something like that. Okay, so just to recap, the way the New Zealand swap is going to happen is that you will get 20 random beers, excluding your own. So you need to send and get to Wellington by August the 22nd, 23 beers. 20 beers that will go into the random swap, and 3 beers that will cater for any breakages, and also go towards the gold sponsors evening, where we invite our gold sponsors along to taste everybody's beer that was entered into the challenge, um, as a thank you for, for their kind sponsorship. You also need 17 bottles of beer put aside. If you win the top three in New Zealand, those 17 bottles of beer are organised to get shipped back to Wellington so that they can be split up and shipped overseas to Canada, Australia, Europe, United States, UK. And also the two beers that go to the, um, to the other two top three people in New Zealand so that they have a full range of beers to do their final tasting on. And that's it. Um, so we're not doing semi-finals, we're just doing a random swap of 20 beers. So you will get 20 totally random beers in your package. Um, the other thing is if you are doing a IPA or a fresh hop IPA, something that needs to be really fresh, you still have time to do it because we're not doing semi-finals. We've got enough time to, by the time you're announced as a top three winner, if you want to rebrew your batch before it goes international, you have four weeks to get that done. So that's a good thing. But anyway, um, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to let people know what their number of beers is going to be. And it's 40. Okay? Make sure that you have 40 bottles of beer put aside for this competition. Don't drink them. Put a big sign on it saying, do not drink. Leave alone. Because if you don't have the bottles, they don't get voted, you may not win. If you win, and you're in the top three, and you don't have the beers to ship overseas, you might not be able to get your beers back to you. It's got to be a one-for-one -one swap to make this all fair and even. But yeah, there'll be more updates later on. Cheers.